12 steps to a better memory. Keeping track to date and appointment. David was a very happily married man who was incapable of remembering the date of his wedding anniversary. He knew the date fell in April, sometimes during the last weeks, but beyond that, he was totally unable to recall the day. He spent a great deal of time worrying about why he had so much trouble with this particular memory. If you are ever being changed to um, chagrined to realize you've forgotten the important birthday or anniversary, you know how vital it can be to remember that it that are important to your friends and family. In fact, remembering that it is one of the most common memory problems, but it is nothing to be too concerned about. Using mental strategy and mechanical reminder, it is possible to conquer this particular memory lapse. Carry a notebook. Whenever you are away from home, carry a small notebook with you to jot down things to do and important appointment. It should fit into your false briefcase or glove compartment and it should be big enough so you can write down brief essential information then you will then transfer to your calendar at home. Use your calendar. A notebook or calendar with names and birthdays can be very helpful Jane, who has great trouble remembering to buy and mail card, keep a special calendar with all important date marked. At the beginning of each year, she goes to the store and buys all the cards she needs to the entire year. She addresses them, stamps all the envelope, and files each card between the page of the corresponding month. As which month passes, she flips the page and writes out note for which person who is having a special day that month. She usually stocks um, on a few extra cars for unexpected wedding, baby showers, or funerals. At home, you can keep a weekly or monthly calendar to write down all of your engagement from your portable appointment notebook and anything from your to-do list that needs to be recorded. It's your best if you can do this at the same time every day, for example, right after dinner in the evening so that you will make it a habit. Anything you want to remember, no matter how seemingly unimportant, from doctor's appointment to grooming the cat, should be written, written down on this calendar. Every morning check this calendar and then cross off this task, which task as you, you accomplish, accomplish it during the day. At the end of the day, you can transfer anything left undone onto the next day's space. When you buy a new calendar at the beginning of each year, transfer all the important date from the old calendar so you will, see, you will have an automatic agenda for the new year. Using a calendar can be very effective, but you must keep up with it. Be sure to keep the calendar in one place so you can always find it, a desk or a whole table works well. Some people prefer a magnetic calendar that they can keep on the refrigerator and make sure you always transfer needed date from your portable notebook. This system can be very effective in helping you remember every day appointment and important date because it helps you organize information and manage time because you are writing down and transport information. It forces you to pay attention to find you want to remember. And paying attention is the very best way to remember anything. As you write down the information, you are rehearsing it, which will also help you remember. Check your calendar weekly. 
At the beginning of each week, check your calendar for any important days via appointment that you want to remember. To be effective, you must do this every week. If you start skipping, you will inevitably skip a week that contains an important date you need to remember. If there is a particular date, then you have trouble remembering, say it out loud. Anticipate the date and make a comment about it out loud, as often as possible. Make visible cues. As the date approaches, make some visible cue that you want to miss. Place a note on the steering wheel on your car or on the receiver of your telephone. Telephone. Insert a colored piece of paper in your briefcase so the one end pro produce. Give a note to yourself on the seat on your office chair. Put one in your shoes, your handbag, or your wallet. Don't assume you will remember. You have plenty of cue to jog your memory. Conquering absent-mindedness. If you are a type of person who can never find your glasses, your car keys, your wallet, you are probably because you are absent-minded and usually threatened. You just haven't been playing, paying attention when you put this item down. The failure to pay attention is the primary problem behind absent-mindedness. You are most likely to be absent-minded when you are engaged in a regular routine in a familiar environment or when you are distracted or preoccupied so then your attention is elsewhere. For this reason, developing the habit of putting things where they belong will help your memory. This way, even when you are not paying attention, you will be able to find the items because you can assume that you automatically put the item where it belongs. This is a common problem of daydreamers. They tend to not to care what's happening around them. Well, they are usually uh, distracted and vulnerable to interference. They may always be thinking about other things or about things and they want to do later, neglecting to pay attention to the here and now. If you complain about being absent-minded or having memory lapse, you are probably more concerned about your failure to do something you wanted to do rather than not being able to remember information from the past. That's because we tend to feel that if we can't remember something from the past, we just have an unreliable memory. But if we can't remember to do things in the future, we run the risk of being considered personally unreliable. Remember routine task. Many people have trouble remembering habitual tasks such as brushing their teeth, taking a vitamin pill, or rocking the door before going to bed. The problem results from not paying attention while performing the task. If you do forget to pay attention and turning off the stop or unplugging the iron, the iron as you leave the house, you may need to take a quick trip back home to check. If you forget habitual task, the key to solving your problem is to relate activity to something that you want to forget to every day. If you've been forgetting to brush your teeth in the morning, then tell yourself that each morning you want to eat breakfast until you brush your teeth. By incorporating a task into an outline of things you don't forget to do, such as eat breakfast, you are less likely to forget it, to get that task. It's your fact that the more organized and routine your life, less risk you will run out of forgetting anything. That's why older people often have less of a problem with absent-mindedness than younger folks. Their lives rely far more on a daily routine. Remember occasional task. While many people have problem with habitual task, the real problem that concerns most absent-minded people is forgetting task that coming up 
of your once in a while. Forgetting the task you by time feel one day will most likely not have serious consequences. But forgetting the forgetting to mail an IRS payment can cause real problems. Here are a few suggestions that will help you remember occasional tasks. Make list of fun you need to do and check it frequently. Visualize something that relates to the task and associate it with the fun you need to do. Picture the IRS payment with a big smile sitting on top of the mailbox. Use memory aid, including timers, calendars, appointment book, and string or rubber band on your hand.